plaintiff, Jason Grigsby, says he married the defendant when he was young, and they divorced after they had their first child. Years later, Jason and the defendant remarried, had their second child, and although they're still together, he's suing because he claims during an argument he was in the flatbed of his truck and the defendant took off, forcing him to jump. Defendant Misty Grigsby says she fell in love with Jason because he was like a big kid and he made her laugh. Misty claims regarding the incident in question, she did not force Jason to get in the truck and she never intended to hurt him, so she denies owing. Start with you. Well, I uh, moved down here in 99. I met my wife in 2001. Moved to Chicago in 99. I'm sorry, I came from Chicago, moved to Alabama in uh, In 99. I uh, met my wife in 2001. We hit it off and fell in love, married within eight months. We had a child in 2005. Uh, like all marriages, we were young, had a lot, lot to learn. Uh, we ended up getting a divorce, but we still kept the relationship and I still pursued the family unit, you know, I really, I desired that. And, uh... Why did you get a divorce then? Ah, uh, some outside persuasions, uh, we weren't in the right place, we were too young, we didn't know enough. Uh, but if you wanted to keep it, that means she didn't. Well, she, I know she had some outside persuasion. Um, okay. It was probably best for the child at the time to not have him. Let me him. hear from you, ma'am, on this, and then we, I'll let you further okay. your testimony on the background. He's acting like you all mutually said it, and however, he tried to get back, and you wouldn't come back. Oh, no. I mean, we, even though the day of the divorce hearing, we went home pretty much together, but I was 19. He was 23 when we met. Within five months, we were actually engaged and married. <laughs> um, one of the main things I fell in love with about him, he was a big kid. Just goofy, funny, always making me laugh, and trying to turn that into a responsible husband and then soon to be father was difficult. Um, all right, and so you all were divorced when? In 05? Um, my little boy was born in 05. 06? 06. 06. All right, and you all remained, um, For the uh, child. maintained a relationship. Yes, sir. Good, and then uh, what? Where did things go from there? We eventually rebuilt. Uh, we remarried in 2012 and was blessed with our second child, Marley. All right. They still love going to court. That's what yeah, I see. <laughs> so what brings you here today? Well, I was, uh, I was involved in an accident. And, uh, when? In 2012. No, it was 2010 was when I happened. September 7th of 2010. Go ahead. I felt like the area that we were in was not, it was not good for a family to be raised in. Uh, I came to the apartments of the day and had an ultimatum, either come with me or stay. I was giving up, kind of. Kind of called a bluff, I guess. Um, she didn't like that idea. I proceeded to go to the truck and get the bags out that were hers, and before I knew it, she was behind the wheel. And there's only about 100 yards between where we were and the main highway. Uh, Five-speed little Ford Ranger got to jerk in there and whatnot, and I was still in the bed of the truck, and she got going there. And my fear was that she might make it to that highway, and I didn't want to get that Got far. Got going, meaning she pu pulled fat. off while you were in, in the, the bed of the truck. Bed of the truck. I don't believe she had intent to hurt me, but what happened did. Did uh, you yell and say, slow down? I, I may have hollered and screamed, yeah. <laughs> the back window was shut. I don't think she may have been paying attention to that. I don't know really what did was she, going through She her didn't head. know you were in the bed of the truck? I think she did. Yes, she did. <laughs> yes, she, yes, sir. She knew I was in the bed of the truck. And so what happened? Well, as she got closer to that highway, I decided that I needed to exit this vehicle before I did get to that highway. Um, with all that was going on with the wheel and the jerking of the five-speed, I didn't make a clean exit, and my left ankle was broken. Uh, pretty good, actually. Um, I have the X and X-rays. And, and so that's what you're suing her about, sir? Yes, sir. Ma'am, what do you want to say? I didn't intend to hurt him. I did not, I did not stop the truck soon enough, mm. but I didn't make him get into the back of that truck. I don't think, I didn't make him get in or out of it. So I don't think I'm responsible for the accident, I, for, for the pain. This is in 2010. 10. 
Yes, sir. Y'all ever been to Chicago? <coughs> I think we do pay for your trip. Yes. A lot of people just come no. for the trip. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> no. Experience the city. No. Great city. I love Chicago. Chicago is the greatest city, second only to Detroit. Would you agree? It's a great oh, city. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. There's a lot, seen around, a lot of nice you've stuff. Walked around mm -hmm. and enjoyed yourself. That's one of the incentives uh -oh. people bring the court the case here because we <laughs> pay for their trip. Sometimes you get people who act like they have a real lawsuit, <laughs> <laughs> but they can get a trip. Well, people may you not like know that. any better cause because you legitimately have a bill. Oh, yeah. You legitimately have an x-ray. I have. And this legitimately happened in 2010. Sir. And you're now remarried and want to bring me this mess. Well. Statute of limitations has expired. You're no oh, better I, than that. No, have I, a I, good day. Your case is dismissed. Coming in here. Give him some money to go shopping. <laughs> so we're going to continue to rebuild our marriage. We already Hopefully have. Hopefully this little rough patch will be put behind us from now on. It's always been a very sore spot between the two of us, but hopefully this will be the resolution of that.